guys so by this time my brows were done <laughs> i just wanted to save time so i did this off camera please take it easy on me i am not a professional and that's my moisturizer there i'm using the simple moisturizer simple is simple you can basically get it anywhere you can use any moisturizer of your choice so i'm just blending this into my face my skin basically and i'm using my meron skin prep as a primer I had used one before, so that's what is causing that whitish stuff on my face. So I'm just using this as well because I just want to prime this face. I have super, super ugly skin and I like priming lots to avoid all that. I am priming again and I'm using pawns. Like seriously, who sent me? At this point, my face was dry and ashy and I was struggling to like make it just sink in. I was struggling to like make it all blending, but I tried. Hopefully, when I'm applying my foundation, I'll be able to blend everything all together. So, I'm starting with my high shadow and I'm using the remnant of the concealer i had which i used for my brows and i'm just using this on my lids to prep them in preparation for my eyeshadow guys i am not a professional so whatever you see whatever you expect just take it like that i basically learned makeup as well on youtube so this is just like to show you how i do my makeup people ask me and i'm like really guys i am not a professional but just bear with me so I'm just applying this all over my lids and I'm just like trying to make them sink in to avoid all those like ashy lines and cool. Blend, 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 blend. Blending is work. It's really, really hard work. So I'm just trying to do this on both lids at the same time. I like doing this. So at least I would avoid all that craziness and all that oily stuff. I'm just using my normal powder on top of that. If I used any other like eyelid primer, I might not need to do that. But I like using this powder so that I don't have that crease when I finish applying the eyeshadow. So that's just powder going on there, really. And this is my normal go-to look every day. I don't apply eyeshadow all the time. So I'm using the combination of those two eyeshadows. The red and the like mauve also yeah if that's the color that's what i'm really using that's the combination of what i'm using on my eyes so i'm using the darker color like a transition color in my crease area to provide some depth and the main eyeshadow which is the red one will come on my proper lid later on so i'm just applying all this you guys know it now you guys know better than me really so the red is coming on the eyelid right now and well i'm just going to blend everything all together so that there are no ash lines <laughs> so the professional makeup artist here will not crucify me i am learning i'm seriously learning i'm getting better with time i thought i could apply makeup before but when i see like my g's i know that nah nah nah, nah i'm just starting but please just bear with me guys so i'm just applying all the red eyeshadow on there trying to blend it in at the same time you have to blend so that you don't have ash lines and there's no proper definition of where one is starting and where the other one is ending. So I'm just repeating the same thing, pari on both eyelids, basically. Still going in with the blending brush. I know I don't even blend enough, but I'm trying as much as I can to do the best that I can. I have to blend this, guys. So, the part I like the most, I like eyeliners, really, guys. but I don't do it as well. Ideally, I should have dropped that mirror and make my hands steady on the table or something. I shouldn't be doing the same thing as in holding the mirror and trying to draw a precise line at the same time, but laziness i just started to do everything and well i tried to get it let's see let's see and i did yes can you check out that line it's so perfect let's wait for this one let's see what happens so i'm trying to do the same thing here what happens in line a happens for b 
you have to do the same thing your yeah, twins so just trying to get the line oh my god oh my god <laughs> By this time, I was ready to cry, honestly. Like, that did not just happen. Like, how? But I didn't care. I kept on doing it. I didn't even have to correct it at this point. I just knew I was going to correct it, like, later on. But I was in severe pain. Like, no. After I was already, like, celebrating myself for doing a perfect one on the right, this now happened. Nah. But I just carried on. Sorry, like I said, I'm not so much of a pro yet. I'm still learning. I tried to cover it up, but well, it didn't really work, so I just left it. You still see this at the end of the video. Just manage and bear with me. Sorry. <laughs> I just left it. I just left it. Honestly, I just left it. At least I was not applying this on a bride or any other person, but seriously, I was ready to cry. It was not it was so bad. I felt it. So I'm just applying my mascara in preparation for my lashes trying to curl my little little lashes my lashes are so coily and so little so i'm just trying to get as much as i can to do that so just a tip never do this to your mascara no you're going to make it dry out don't pump it in and out just like grab what you want and get it out all at once because of what happened i had to apply my lashes off camera and i did not do so bad at all to be sincere i applied this in less than a minute i was surprised i was shocked i didn't want to do this on camera because i was like heartbroken but it was not as bad as i thought it was going to be <laughs> see them lashes i'm just fluttering them so this is another thing i like to do i can't do without my inner waterline i like lining them black it just gives my face this definition it makes my face like come out like smaller i just like what it's like does to my face i know i don't get it as well but whatever i can do i do and look at that so i try to like take deep breaths so that i don't tear up i tear up easily so trying to take deep breaths and breathing in like that helps me really and for the foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Dream Mousse foundation. This is my go-to foundation. I like it a lot. And the color is in cocoa. Don't mind the fact that it's in cocoa. It comes out looking light a bit, but it's perfectly fine because my face is deceptive. It's really, really deceptive. Any color used on my face can almost work. Once I try to blend it all in, it will work. If I use a lighter foundation on my face, you'd be surprised it will work because my face is darker than the other part of my body. So... I just try to make it work. At the end of the day, it comes out looking all good. So let's just see and wait for what happens. So this is the foundation part, blending and blending and blending it. By this time, my biceps were like, okay, but I have to blend like lots, a lot, a lot. Let's just wait for this. It will take some time, and I'm using my beauty blender. And I just dampened it a bit just to like make the foundation sink in better. I like doing this. Once I use a brush, I like going in with my beauty blender. And I'm just trying to apply my concealer on all those parts. You know the regular. So just underneath my eyes basically. I'm not so much of very baking, concealing. I just do what I can do really. On all those parts, I'm doing them. At least I like it because it makes my face, it makes my face pop more so i don't try to skip it if i can and of course you have to blend it in as much as you can if you don't blend in your concealer properly it's going to make your face look very ashy it's going to give you those like very harsh lines and you don't want that nah So I just use my loose translucent powder. Sorry, I couldn't show you. It's really loose and it was just flying all over the place. I have to like close my eyes so that it won't like go into my eyes. So I'm just using that underneath my eyes. I didn't bake. I applied it all at once. And I'm lining my eye. lips right now with this dark lip liner. Not lip liner. The same one I use for my brows. I like this lip color or this lip combination a lot. I like nude. So this is... What I really like wearing most of the time. 
I'm just trying to blend that in before applying my lip color. It's nude, like I said, and it's matte, so it dries clear. Just give it like another one minute and it's dry, and that's it. At this point, I felt my lips were okay. I don't know why I went in with a lip gloss. Like, that was a terrible, terrible idea of what I did. I would have just left it like that, matte, but I don't know. Well, it happens anyway. I just wanted a little bit of shine, and well, it's not so bad at the end of the day. So I'm just using my Iman powder, the medium deep all over my face. I had done a lot of that before, so as not just to bore you, it's better <laughs> I summarize. So I'm just doing a bit of contour with this Maybelline in cacao. I contour with powder, not with cream. And lastly, I'm using this W7 shimmer. Just a bit highlight. Today's not the day for a lot of highlights. So that's a complete look. Rate me, guys. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? So let's just go into the hair. I'm wearing this very basic closure wig, which I've had for a long time. I love wigs a lot, but I don't know why. I just keep going back to the same over and again. So I have a mix of water and living conditioner in there in my spray bottle. And I just sprayed it a bit. I'm using my fingers to run through to detangle the wig. This is the best thing you can do to your coily wig. You need to use a lot of water, living conditioner. Use your fingers to run it through. And it comes out looking new almost every time. So the next thing I'm going to be applying is my Hawaiian Silky. This is a miracle guys. You can use it for almost anything. I like using it for curly hair a lot. I'm spraying it again on it. I just like, I just like, sorry, I just like the way it makes my hair feel. It makes it extra soft, shiny. You don't feel that you've added too much product. And you can use it for almost any kind of hair really. Silky, sorry, straight, curly, anyone. You can I'm using my gorilla snot gel for my edges so as to leave my edges flat or to make it tidy my hair is natural so the edges even if I lay it now it will come out like in the next many minutes so I try to do my edges like almost every time to make it at least tidy you have to make it tidy guys so that's just it at least it's better looking right now right so let me just wear the wig it's a closure wig you don't have too much to do. That's just it. It's a center part wig. It's coily. I've had this wig for a long time. And I'm just trying to use a comb to straighten it out. If you have a hot comb, you can use this as well. And that's just it. Just use your fingers to detangle. Anyhow, that wants, anyhow you can style, style. It's freestyle. Any way it can suit. And that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye, 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 bye.